give them give them some grace. Make a constitution brief interpretation and the effect. Must give thanks. God form share this information. So we can bring it forward as honorable clarification for our common people. Because I'm sure Nowhere in our school curriculum on absolutely no level, whether basic school, primary school, secondary school, or even high school, have we been taught about the Constitution as it is. And I'm quite sure it's not been taught in any university outside of law school. So I'm here to present this information for our people. Freedom, free dominion, free domain. That's our advocacy. And we will not get there with illiteracy. But before me even break down the constitution as is, Closure. Let me touch right here. No organ of the state shall or may. The following phrases may be seen in bills or resolutions. The legislator shall do or the legislator may do. Whenever the word may or shall appears on a bill, charter, contract, agreement, or anything in writing, it should be noted carefully. The word used may have a major impact on the effect of the bill, charter, contract, or agreement. Depending on which word is used, a sentence may be describing an order which must be obeyed or simply authorizing a state agency to do something if it wants to do so. The word shall should be interpreted as an order and the analysis of the bill should assume that the agency, again, the agency must follow the instruction of the bill. So when we say a colonial agency, Yeah, man, an occupying colonial agency, which is the government of Jamaica. Here we have break down subtle information to show us that it is an agency, irrespective of whatever name the place on it. And within my description, you'll find the definition of an agency. And the government of Jamaica fit that definition perfectly. So we're not our sideways. Because if we now have knowledge, then we now have a make it. And specifically if you're a man such as I, Nestorian King, we have to bring the information so people can totally comprehend where I'm coming from when we say freedom, freedom in and freedom in. When we say parliament, now the government of Jamaica. No, have no laws or no rules we apply to us. None of them legal standard rules and regulation can apply to us. And when we say us, may I mean we who are our Indians here. And it cannot apply to I as a man. Totally impossible. Yeah, man. So I said, if the word shall, the word shall should be interpreted as an order and the analysis of the bill or the charter or the contract or the agreement 
should assume that the, the agency must follow the instructions of that bill. If the word may is used, you cannot automatically assume that the agency will do it. This can make a difference in determining the impact of the bill and the administrative cost of implementing such a bill. So again, within the constitution, you'll see the word shall, which means an order, which the agency must obey. And then you'll see the word may, meaning the agency can do whatever they choose to do. And then may have a little error, Mr. Should a judge in the most subordinate jurisdiction like that of the government of Jamaica, a colonial crown agency, be deficient in the knowledge of the law. It would reflect infinite contempt upon him or herself and disgrace upon those who employ him or her. And yet the consequence of his or her ignorance is comparatively very trifling and small. His or her judgment may be examined and his error rectified by other courts. And if you don't know it's flawed, why is that going to need to go through the change with the, the rectified? The change that. But how much more serious and affecting is the case of a superior judge? If without any skill in the laws, he will boldly venture to decide a question upon which the welfare and subsistence of whole families may depend, where the chance of his judging right or wrong is barely equal, and where if he, if he chances to judge wrong, he doesn't injury of the most alarming nature, an injury without possibility of redress. So you see, when you see the judge them come in front of a man like me, especially in that Mickey Mouse area, where it's not the Supreme Court, that's some traffic court and call a special court. They must be mindful because them conduct are always be recorded on the public record. Because every paperwork we're going to get from the court, that is the only document we're going to use against the very agency. Because for them own rules and regulations and the contract, which is a charter of fundamental rights and freedoms, so no organ of the state shall, which is an, an order which must be obeyed shall make no act, you understand, to abrogate, abridge, or infringe upon the people's fundamental rights and freedom. You can't walk away from that. You cannot skip past that. And amongst those rights and freedom, as we have expressed within this presentment, is the freedom of movement, the right to protection in your person, all of these are rights which are guaranteed and secure, not granted by no constitution. It is guaranteed and secure. So we have to become more aware of what law is and where to find that written law that is ascended by the Office of the Governor General. <laughs> so again, we say interpretation and effect. Chapter one. Chapter one explain the meaning of terms and idea expressed in the Constitution and make clear that the Constitution is the supreme law of Jamaica, and that all other laws are secondary to it and depend upon it. If any other law is inconsistent with this constitution, 
this constitution shall prevail and the other laws shall to the extent of the inconsistency be void, not even null and void, it's just void, it never exists. So right here, when you now work with the constitution, then you are outside the law. And any other rules or regulation or legal standard guys as law, they are void. It's simple. We don't have no one to challenge this colonial agency this way. We don't have nobody to bring this challenge, so we have to do that. Yeah, man. And if we not do it, it will never get done. Yeah, man. It will never get done. Well, most people not really have the knowledge, most people not have the interest. We have a next set of people were totally sold out. Totally. Chapter 2 says citizenship. Under chapter 2 of the Constitution, persons born in Jamaica and persons born outside Jamaica of Jamaican parents have an automatic right to Jamaican citizenship. Well, naturally, just like all, you have an automatic right to being a British subject or a Commonwealth citizen, not just specifically for Jamaica. This constitution is for Jamaica, but it really have provision for Commonwealth citizen, which is outside of the Jamaican membership or citizen rate. But them of us as, as dual citizen, but the primary area is under the corporate construct, under the agency known as the government of Jamaica. So a man specifically such as I, we have certificate of fact to state that we are outside of that governmental body politic by choice. Hear that? But it not means that well, we have to go exist somewhere else. Or we, we need to leave our location. No. It not sure we say, well, we do not have no jurisdiction, no control, no authority over us as a people. When we say us, we are talking about us who identify ourselves as our Indian or American Indian or West Indian, non African, non African descent. Simple. We are no maroons. So maroons etymolog etymology or etymologically is the term used for escape Spaniard. So at no time we classify ourselves as being enslaved by no one, nor by no people. Yeah, man. So, honorable clarification, people have a right to decide who they choose to be or want to be or want to associate with. And people have a right to self-identify and to self-determination. So, you know, outside the law, what we do is outside of any rules and regulation being imposed by the colonial crown agency known as the government of Jamaica. Clarity. Yeah, man. So it said, number two, it's a woman who have married Jamaican men and former citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies. You hear that? That's the designation, that's the country where we would have claimed. Yes, yeah, citizens of the United Kingdom and colonies, according to the laws. We're not drunk nowhere, we're not create nothing brand new. Who we are is just what we are, but we are using the very laws that are in place. So when I see these phrases, it shouldn't be strange. You know what I mean? British foreign territories and all these things. 
So it's a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies who have become naturalized or registered as British subject in Jamaica can also register as Jamaican citizen. Number three is so the parliament is given power of in the constitution under section 11 to make further provision provisor, for the acquisition, that provision, and renunciation of citizenship. Hear that? Parliament, you know. And the governor general under section 8 is given power to deprive of their Jamaican citizenship, those Jamaican citizens who acquire citizenship or the right of citizenship of another country. Don't you hear these things according to the Constitution. Now, what I'm saying, Chapter 3 Fundamental Rights and Freedom. Chapter 3 provides that every person, regardless of race, place of origin, political origin, color, creed, or of sex, is entitled to certain fundamental rights and freedoms. These include right to life, the right to personal liberty, freedom of movement. This is where them abrogate and abridge at our house, registration of motor vehicle when they're not out of order. You can't force with it, you know, engage in a no kind of contract or no kind of agreement. It's not good faith agreement when it's coerced. You know what I mean? With the silent deception, inducement, participate in your colonial fraud. It's against the law. Now, we don't have access to law because we're not using the very supreme law of Jamaica. Now use private acts, acts of commerce, to the detriment of the West Indian people. Yeah, man. So when them say freedom of movement, a policeman not to just see up on the road and I stop you about spot check. Spot check. Right there, you yeah, aggregate. Yeah, a bridge and yeah, infringe upon my inherent dignity as a man to exercise my fundamental rights and freedom, which is my duty. That's what I now do. But because I presume all the way a dummy and all the way I got to be afraid to challenge this. Colonial crown agency. You know, I have no problem for bringing the very information forward just like this. Freedom from inhumane treatment. This is when the judge gave me psychological evaluation when I could have gone right up the road to the very doctor O. Oh, he probably move in location now because he's a man. I might not publish them location. Right here in Portmore, I have an office over there in Pines. But because of the conspiracy with this colonial crown agency, the very judge, Chief Judge Chester Crooks, ordered me psychological evaluation 45 days in general penitentiary people. How harsh was that? How harsh was that? Was that not inhumane treatment on the part of the colonial crown agency known as the government of Jamaica? Because all of these people are employed by that very agency. Yeah, man. Part and in parcel, same. One and the same. Just a, 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 another branch or an organ of the very same Crown State Agency. Enjoyment of property. This is when them confiscate my pro box from May the second till now when I play games. Until this document reached the Supreme Court, you know. 
Yeah, man. Freedom of conscience. I can choose to meditate however I choose to meditate. Freedom of association. Respect for private and family life. And freedom from discrimination. So because me say me is not a maroon, they might discriminate against me. Because I say I'm not a Jamaican citizen. This colonial crown agency choose to discriminate against me. I tell me I'm supposed to subject myself to them colonial will. Will never happen. Number two, the enjoyment of these rights and freedom is subject to the respect for the rights and freedom of others and the public interest. By me traveling, using my own private conveyance exclusively for my own personal use is not interfering with the public interest and is not interfering with no other man's rights and freedom. If them not have the knowledge and choose to be a slave, make them choose to be a slave, them have a right to be a slave. But when the next man say, hey, uh-oh, I'm fall off of my bed, I lick my head and realize that something is wrong, then you have to respect my position. You understand? You have to respect my decision. You can't impose your foreign will upon a man such as that. We now go accept it. We now go consent to it. Irrespective of a brute force. Number three, in the public interest, individual rights may also be suspended in a manner prescribed by the constitution. Example, in the event of war, that is when they may suspend, may not shall, Remember, you now we said may is what them choose to do when them want to do it, and shall is an order where them have to obey. You understand? So they may suspend. You understand? In the event of war, calamity, of threat, of subversion. Subversion, or when you hear some man where love run off them mouth and talk about them want to take over the government of Jamaica. I feel the heights of illiteracy that, but however, we'll, you know. According to the stage or the level where we're there, at one point we never know so much things. But there is no need to try to take over the government of Jamaica. It makes no sense. Because the government of Jamaica is a foreign colonial crown agency. Where are you going to take over? You have to do your own thing like oh, I establish I house. I don't need an house of representative to represent absolutely. I in Nobia, period. The difference that with I, it's unheard of. This are the new faculty of thinking. Yeah, where you think in a way outside of what is prescribed. The common folk. New faculty of thinking. This document has been in place since. 1962, and how much people is aware of it? How much people actually know of it, initiate, implement, or even use it? It's a contract, specifically the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom, because Charter is synonymous with contract. Yeah, man. So number four says, so any person who believes that his rights are being violated or threatened may apply, may apply, may apply. You know, have to, you know, but you may apply to the Supreme Court or on appeal to the Court of Appeals for enforcement of rights and for redress. So, my common people, because I'm of a man like me, free man in a traffic court. Them now have access to law. But for them traffic court is what them call special court. This is where them create them fraud and commit all kind of criminal conduct by way of them repo or the repo act will apply is racketeering. And this is when the Supreme Court now turn a blind eye 
Transport Administrative Division turn a blind eye because it's a lucrative business and they can fleece common people without the common people's knowledge. It's a lucrative business and everybody within that agency is benefiting. So if you now bring law, documents in writing, which is law, then them now going to even hear you, see or look at you. However, we have to walk this walk to expose the unlawful conduct, the illegal conduct, the ungodly conduct of these colonial crown agents. Yeah, man. One thing with the Romans, they keep meticulous record. It's always there, but because they don't teach you how to read and write properly, we now go find it. We'll never get access to it. Until now. So, when I make my statement of claim in the Supreme Court area, that's when the real show of a begin. But, again, we always give them more than enough room to correct themselves. Uh, personally, I don't want to sue a police officer. Most of the police officers, them up there, struggle like all of the rest of we were born with the gold spoon. Most police officers have joined the police force to escape poverty. You understand? Most of the youth them we have seen in the military come from rural areas. Most of the youth them in the service department them come from the rural area. Everybody wants to escape poverty and it's not a bad thing. You can gain some employment with a system where you know, say, you know, you can network and do two, three, four years, move on to bigger and better things. The problem is not everybody has them kind of perspective there. You have bad people who are going just to do bad things and that mess up everything. And we are talking about from the top. From right back down to you as a man who I chose to be good or to be bad. Put it that way. Yeah, man. So it's downtown of the Supreme Court area. You will get a chance to really bring some of these people to bear accordingly. And it's a step-by-step -step process. No rush. Uh, it's a whole agency. Yeah, look for move against a whole agency. <laughs> yeah, man. Chapter 4 is the Governor General. Number 1. Under Chapter 4, the Governor General is given authority as representative of Her Majesty or His Majesty, King or Queen, to name the date of general election, to appoint ministers and assign them responsibilities, to appoint parliamentary secretaries, the Attorney General, Senators, Privy Council, the Chief Justice, the President of the Court of Appeal, the Director of Public Prosecution, and members of the Service Commission. So the Governor General is given authority as the representative to do all of these things, appoint these ministers, put it that way. Number two, say in most cases, the Governor General Act in accordance with the advice of the Prime Minister. But in some cases, after consultation with the leader of the opposition, and in other cases, on the recommendation of such authorities as the Service Commission and the Privy Council. So people, when you hear the opposition, I say, Lu, la, le, la, le, what you know? The opposition on Glamek Nice, time of a consult with the Prime Minister, whoever is in office, and come to some agreement with whomever you see them about. It. Simple. Number three, in only a few matters, mainly minor one, does the Governor General act as his own discretion or at his own discretion. Only minor matters. The Governor General's formal assent is also required for bills of Parliament to become law. You hear that? So when the show now, 
the Constitution as amended 2011, 7th April 2011, 8th April 2011, and it's a assent by the Governor General. Now that document represents law. Chapter 3, Fundamental Rights and Freedom. That's where the law is, that's where the contract is, that's where the area of said no organ of the state. That's where the document, the area was said, why they're supposed to respect the fundamental human rights and freedom. Them have to take observance of that first and foremost is when you walk past that, not being a man with all of these rights, then they can do whatever they want with it. You understand? So, all at who I conduct any kind of activity where my case is, may I demonstrate so them is outside the law. May I demonstrate that. Yeah, man, and the very information what them bring and present to me, I it got indicted. You get me? The very document we have create a, a provision where an injunction is created against this, you know, colonial crown agency known as the government of Jamaica and its rogue, unlearned agents. Chapter 5, so Parliament. Under Chapter 5 of the Constitution, Parliament is given power to make law for the peace, order, and good government of Jamaica, not for any chaotic, crazy, catastrophic condition like what we have now. Parliament consists of His Majesty's King, represented by the Governor General and two legislative house a nominated Senate and an elected House of Representatives. You hear that? A nominated Senate and an elected House of Representatives. These people you can't talk to me because I don't have no interest in a guy representing me. This is where you, the people, delegate your authority by, by way of your voter registration. This is where you can cancel. If you choose your voters' registration, give them back that mess and choose to separate from them colonial from agency. That's what it is, people. Yeah, man. Number three says so the Governor General's open parliament once a year with the speech or address and give the royal assent for each bill passed by the two houses to become law. A bill may be introduced by any member of either house. However, in practice, most bills are introduced by the House of Representatives. Number five, money bills can only be introduced by the House of Representatives, the Senate may delay the money bill for not more than one month and any other bill for not more than seven months. It's a all for them agencies, rules and bylaws. Right, that's what the constitution is. So once a foreign agency come in to come to business, they must have bylaws and provision there to secure the people who is conscious, cognizant and aware of what is going on. This is why they have a bill of rights. Uh, chapter 3 of the Jamaican Constitution is called the Bill of Rights, but I'm calling it the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom. And in every, you know, say, colonial crown agency or crown state, that the state is the agency, and after a provision known as the Bill of Rights that derived from 1948. It's in the Human Rights Declaration. And these things are uh, inherent to man. These things are secured. It's not granted by the Jamaica Constitution, nor by the Jamaica Parliament, nor by the Jamaica House of Representatives. This is above and beyond their scope. These are rules where they must be adhered by, but you have to invoke it. Yeah, man. 
the number six of the House of Representatives can end the term of office of a government if a majority of all its members supports a motion of no confidence. Hear that? So if they're not confident in the Labour Party, you know, the House of Representatives can end the term of office for that government. You understand? And bring forward our government. Because we can't work with a maroon government. We can't work with escape slave. So if you escape and you slave from somewhere else, where you do here? You understand? If you escape back to your origin, back to Spain, back to your Moorish condition. Simple. Because what's first is always choice. Always. Number seven, sir. The Senate consists of 21 members appointed by the Governor General, 13 nominated by the Prime Minister, and 8 nominated by the Leader of the Opposition. Number eight, sir. Any Jamaican citizen of 21 years or over, or any Commonwealth citizens 21 years or over, living in Jamaica for at least one year can become a member of either House of Parliament. That means some of probably can go try to be a member of the House of Parliament as a Commonwealth citizen, a Jamaican national. Probably that's what we need to go in a parliament to do some work. How can you have all a speaker where, you know, align with everything else? It's not conflict of interest. This is why you see them are claim so much property here on the island. I said I'm own all kind of things. And I, as a man, know say it is impossible for them to own nothing at all. And they can't have a loyal title to nothing at all. None of these people. Not when your government employee starts with nothing and rob up the people and which is slave legacy, you call it. Tucked it away in some foreign trust and then say you're wealthy. You are speaker for what house? Henry Morgan House, you represent those people. People like you guys cannot represent a man such as I. You can't represent our society. You can't represent our people. Period. Number six, executive power. On the, chap on the chapter 6 of the Constitution, the Governor General is required to appoint as Prime Minister the member of the House of Representatives who is best able to command the support of a majority of the members of that House. So if the House of Representatives have all its member and are somebody that can command this is what I'm saying. The support, then it can be the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister select the Minister, Minister of State, Parliamentary Secretary to be appointed by the Governor General. The Prime Minister forms the Cabinet and presides over it. The Prime Minister advises the Queen or King on the appointment of the Governor General. The Prime Minister has the power to advise the Governor General to dissolve Parliament and to name the date of a general election at any time within the five years of the life of Parliament. Number five, important acts by the Governor General are carried out on the advice of or after consultation with the Prime Minister. And for some measures, the leaders of the opposition is also consulted. The cabinet is responsible for the general direction and control of government. It consists of the prime minister and no less than 11 other members. There is no maximum. All cabinet ministers must be members of one of the two houses of parliament, but not more than four from the senate. Each cabinet minister is assigned one or more areas of responsibilities, example, agriculture, health, or housing, sometimes called portfolios. The cabinet must account to the people 
to Parliament for its actions. Each cabinet minister is also individually responsible for the subject or subjects assigned to him or her. Cabinet ministers are assigned by Minister of Senate and Parliamentary Secretaries. However, the day-to-day -day work of the ministry is administrated or administered and supervised by a senior civil servant called a parliamentary sec parliament secretary who is assisted by the staff of the ministry who are civil servants. So we are breaking down the colonial crown agency known as the government of Jamaica. Other important executives are attorney general, a political appointee chosen by the prime minister who is legal advisor to the government and the director of public prosecution who is responsible for starting, continuing, and discontinuing criminal prosecution. So the attorney general is the legal advisor to the colonial government agency, the colonial crown agency known as the government of Jamaica. And the director of prosecution is the one who is responsible for starting, continuing, and discontinuing criminal prosecution. So tell me, we're going to bring a RICO act against this agency. Who are you going to bring it to? We are bring it to these people who are agents of the very colonial crown agency. How? We have to go to the Privy Council for these people. We have to go over England, start shoot up some letter over England and, and explain. Press and explain the situation that's going on here. Yeah, you have to just bypass all of these people. So we'll young go to the principal agency. Yeah, man, which is that brown over foreign somewhere, Privy Council. I'm sorry. Cabinet ministers are assisted by ministers of Senate. Oh, we touched that already. Number 10, other important executives touched that already too. Number 11, the director of public prosecution is a qualified attorney of law. The director of public prosecution is a qualified attorney of law. In exercising his or her function, he or she is not subject to the direction or control of any other authority. That's what them said. He or she cannot be removed from office except on the recommendation of a special judicial tribunal. His or her salary is constitutionally safeguarded. So the Director of Public Prosecution, well secured constitutionally. Number 12, the Constitution secures the office of the leader of the opposition. The leader of the opposition appointed by the Governor General is a member of the House of Representatives who command the support of a majority of those members who do not support the government. The leader of the opposition must be consulted on several important matters such as appointments of the Chief Justice, the President of the Court of Appeal, and members of the service commissions. Opposition leader nominates eight of the 21 senators. Eight of the 21 senators. Chapter 7 Executive Power. A network of courts ranging from petty session to the Court of Appeal and even beyond to the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council in London. This is where we'll probably have to take all our true complaints here as a people the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council in London is responsible for the administrative administration of justice in Jamaica right here. So I'm right. So I'm going to start lots of some serious complaints right there. So them responsible for the administration. Remember, it's an administrative The head of the judicial is a chief justice whose office, like that of all judges, is made secure by the Constitution. Not all judge. 
other than judge, I wish them was a judge, not just like some of them police officers. I wish them was true police officers. The judge's salary and conditions of service are secured by the Constitution, and judges can be removed from office on the advice of the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council in London. Get me? So I'm coming right back there. So again, this is when I'm getting removed. Any person dissatisfied, dissatisfied with the judgment by any of the courts except petty session can appeal to the Court of Appeal. Petty sessions are heard by judges in chambers. The Supreme Court administers both criminal and civil law. Both criminal and civil law. Its criminal cases are handled by circuit courts. Criminal cases are handled by circuit courts after committal by a resident magistrate. The Supreme Court deals with civil action involving negligence, breach of contract, slander, trespass, divorce, equity, guardianship of infant and estate lunatics. It also issues writs and summons. So again, the Supreme Court deal with all of these matters. Now, there are special courts dealing with revenue, gun crimes, and traffic offenses and family matters. Special courts, these, you know, special courts. Judges are appointed by the Governor General on the advice of Judicial Service Commission, which includes among its members the Chief Justice, who is its chairman and the President of the Court of Appeal. So you're not going for the Chief Justice. You know, the Supreme Court, and when you go up, and when they pass a decision against you, you're going to go back again, again in front. This very chairman and the president of the court of appeal to appeal again for him correcting his own decision. You see the, you know, insanity. You see the craziness. But this is a game that played out here, unbeknownst to the people. Well, what most people don't know is that most of the processes were on in the revenues, in the gun court, and in the traffic areas and family matters. It's not on the public record. It's just on their court agency record. It's separate and distinct area. And that means something what we're not going to get in it right now. Among the Governor General, on the advice of the Prime Minister, appoint the Chief Justice and the President of the Court of Appeal after consultation with the Leader of the Opposition. So the Leader of the Opposition is never blind to nothing at all we are going in the government, irrespective of how them come out from A lot of the things them were happening, them probably agree to it, but just have to play games with the people. So again, it's only two different halves of the very same pole, which is a colonial crown agency, <laughs> and really deceive the people. Yeah, man. So again, when we are talking about trespass, like these agencies, the, the police, them were trespass against. And when I speak like this, it applies to I in a different way, only because I. On a year on the top, and not every yard man talk this way, and not every people put themselves in a position to say them establish them own house, house of Dallas. We have our own society, our work Indian nation. You understand? And we exist autonomously. We don't need permission from the foreign agency to exist. You understand? The foreign agency is here in my land doing business. And I'm no escape slave being labeled as a maroon. You understand? And I don't have no Moorish affiliation. Here, we don't have an African heritage here. American Indian, if you want a label. A walk Indian. 
in fact a distinction that people yeah man and this is what them don't want to know about sister they want to know always bow down to a colonial crown agency calling it government when it's an illusion there it's just an agency chapter 8 finance under chapter 8 of the constitution except where a law provides as a wise all revenues all revenue of jamaica are paid into a consolidation fund and then become very difficult to get out the constitution specifies how money may be moved out of the consolidated fund the Minister of Finance must prepare a budget showing estimates of revenue and expenditure for each financial year, which is April 1 to March 31st. That's the financial year, April 1 to March 31st, not January 1 to December 31st. This is their document, sir. The estimates are tabled in the House of Representatives and must be debated and approved by the House. Proposed ex expenditure is in the form of an appropriation bill, which when passed becomes the Appropriation Act. You want to hear these things? The Minister of Finance may not shall then issue warrants permitting payments out of the consolidated fund. Before the appropriation act is passed, the House of Representatives may allow expenditure of a carry-on allowance known as a vote on account. The Minister of Finance can authorize payments for unexpected expenditure through a contingencies fund. He may also get approval from the House of Representatives for additional expenditure during the financial year by introducing supplementary estimates. The Constitution provides for the appointment of an Auditor General who is responsible for auditing the account of all government departments except his own. The audit of the Auditor General's department is carried out by the Finance Minister. What the fuck, Sagar the Edows? <laughs> the Auditor General is subject to the direction and control of no other person or authority. The salary is secured by the Constitution and he can be removed from office only on the recommendation of a special constituted judicial inquiry. Uh, this is interesting, you know. Number nine, public service. As in the case of the Judicial Service Commission, there are a public service commission and a police service commission provided under Chapter 9 of the Constitution with the responsibility for the appointment, dismissal, and disciplinary control of civil servants and police officers. The Governor General makes appointments to the Service Commission on the recommendation of the Prime Minister after consultation with the Leader of the Opposition. Notwithstanding the control exercised by the Service Commission in general, permanent secretaries and the Financial Secretary are appointed by the Governor General acting on the recommendation of the Public Service Commission after consulting with the Prime Minister. A permanent secretary may be transferred by the Governor General on the advice of the Prime Minister and power to appoint Ambassador, High Commissioner, or other principal representatives abroad is vested, given in the Governor General's acting on the advice of the Prime Minister. Vested in the Governor General, granted in the Governor General, acting on the advice of the Prime Minister, provided that 
where the appointment involves a civil servant, the prime minister must consult with the public service commission. So that is a brief breakdown of the Jamaican constitution. The interpretation and effect. So hopefully I common people get a beautiful little lesson today. Yeah man, because if you don't know what law is, then you now go have no access to it. And if you don't know where to find it, again, it now gonna be applicable to you. This is why their legal standards alternatively used as rules and regulations for the colonial crown agency known as Jamaica, government of Jamaica, will apply to you because of your lack of knowledge. When they might try impose their oppressive will and their oppressive nature by force upon a man such as I, I will rebel. Yeah, I will rebel. Come me have the knowledge to say when he's out of order. And me have the documentation as certificate of fact to validate any claim what I am make as a free man outside of the jurisdiction of this colonial crown agency known as the government of Jamaica. Which other man on this land? Present his or uh, his estate this way. None. We now make no outlandish claim. We not foreign to our location. We can prove that it's a foreign construct. Came here and chose to impose its colonial will. Across my land. We can verify these claims. Now. Yeah man. Yeah man. Our people suffer for lack of knowledge. And so most people reject knowledge. Then knowledge naturally turn away. This is why we say. Correct knowledge with truth. Is light. Yeah, man, we now forgot too far to acquire this information. We have it right here. Yeah, man, we always have it right here. But because our people are look out there, while out there is looking at us. We have it, people. Look within. Start there. The brave may fall, but never yield. We say, bold and brave. Burn. 